It was a fitting conclusion to what was an epic playoff season for the NFL. With so many games decided by seven or fewer points, so many games going down to the very last play. While this one didn't go down the last play, it was pretty close. Uh, and the Rams scoring uh, the way they did in the end, uh, it was it was a great game. I'll say this. It was a great finish. I wouldn't put it up there as an all-time great Super Bowl compared to some of the truly great games, but it lived up to the hype in that it came down to the wire and the Rams get it done. I agree with that. I, I think Cincinnati has a little bit more second-guessing to do than maybe some of the losers in the classic games of the earlier rounds. But that takes nothing away from the Rams' uh, great drive. What was a 15-play drive to go down there, find a way to win it, especially having lost Odell Beckham. Uh, really put a lot on Cooper Cup, and people can't stop Cooper Cup. Um, it's it's remarkable. I know we're going to get deeper and deeper into it, but <clears throat> it was it was largely a two-man game there down the end with Stafford and Cup, and um, I think the Bengals have a lot of regrets about their failure to stop Cooper Cup from winning this game. I gave bad advice on Friday. I said, don't bet on a receiver to win MVP. And I'm surprised he did win it because uh, Joe, Joe Burrow's the first guy to throw uh, – sorry. Uh, Stafford. Stafford's the first guy to throw three touchdowns in a Super Bowl win, I think, to not win it. Well, I'm just surprised because normally the voters go with the quarterback. Right. But – Cup was uh, absolutely deserving, and and I think if you had to pick one dominant guy on a day where three guys, three stars for them really showed up and got it done in the crunch moments, um, they delivered. And Donald didn't have a good first half, and Stafford had some shaky moments, but Cup, I don't think you'd find any moment in this game where he was called on where he didn't deliver. Well, there's a reason why I was uh, pushing for him to get the talk more than Jonathan Taylor this season. And ultimately, he doesn't get an MVP vote uh, when it's all said and done, where you can only vote for one person in the regular season, and it goes to to Aaron Rodgers. But uh, this guy was far superior to what Jonathan Taylor was doing. And in the clutch moments, we can go deeper, in, and we will, with, with Cooper Cup's ability and the rapport that he has with Matthew Stafford. But after three straight possessions where they didn't target their best player, they finally did when it mattered, and they... They won a title because of it, Chad. And I was amazed watching some of the, the post-game reaction and uh, in the, the press availability, Jesse Bates, the safety, uh, who had the great interception of Matthew Stafford in that game. He said, look, the entire game plan was to take Cooper Cup away. We wanted to make them play left-handed by not having the ability to just wear out Cooper Cup in, in the passing game. And even with that being the mindset late without Odell Beckham Jr., you couldn't stop him. I mean, they know exactly where that ball was going, and they could not stop Cooper Cup. It's a testament to him, the great season he had, the great game he had. On the flip side of that, Joe Burrow wasn't very good in this game. All the blame is going to be deflected away because the offensive line is so bad, and everyone knows exactly what priority number one is for Cincinnati moving forward is to give Burrow better protection. But I thought there were a couple times where he held the ball a little bit too long. His QBR was 397 in this game, a lot of that is because of the sacks. But he did exactly what we said. He didn't have the big turnover, right? Didn't throw an interception. Stafford throws two in this game, but was still, he was good enough in every other way that the Rams were able to win. But I also, I don't see Burrow, not that he should be trashed for this game, but I think he could probably stand a little bit more criticism for a, a not very good performance in the Super Bowl. I think Zach Taylor deserves criticism to go too conservative with the four-point lead, played it like it was at least a seven-point lead, and the worst he was going to do was get tied. Um, and then, you know, there are four plays there, or four scenarios. After they get the interception, after they take the lead coming right out of half, they've got if they, if they score another touchdown there, they really take control of the game. They didn't. Um then, then Boyd has the drop on a on a third and nine where they could have extended a drive. That's the second lat to last Cincinnati possession. It would have got them maybe to fourth and one. It might have gotten them a first down. He clearly turns to look upfield before he's got the ball in his hand. And then uh, let me tell you the difference between Boyd and Cooper Cup and yeah. players of that ilk well, sure. on that play. The dude made a business decision. He short armed that thing yeah, knowing he was he about to get, get hit. Now look at Cooper Cup. 
getting blasted in the, the back, back of the, the end, end zone and catching it. It wasn't a touchdown because he never got two feet down. His back landed out of bounds. He held on to the ball, took the hit, which was an offsetting penalty on that play because there was a hold uh, on the uh, on Havenstein, the offensive lineman for uh, for L.A., but that's a big difference between great players and good players. <laughs> 